Hello learners, welcome to this video and now in this video we are going to learn about crystal lattices and unit cells. Well learner, so the first question that comes to my mind is what a crystal lattice is. So a crystal lattice which is also known as space lattice is the three dimensional regular arrangement of points in space. Let's clear this concept by taking a hypothetical example as this term is very important and we are going to use this in the whole chapter. Suppose we have bulk of crystalline solid as we know that there is long range order in crystalline solid. Now represent the constituent particles which may be atoms, ions or molecules by points in the space. Here. What do we observe? Well, three dimensional regular arrangement of points in the space. Now, this whole arrangement is collectively known as crystal lattice or space lattice. If we observe carefully the crystal lattice, we will find the crystal lattice is made up of many small portions. The smallest portion of crystal lattice is also known as unit cell. So we can define the unit cell as the smallest portion of a crystal lattice which on repeating different in directions in the space produces the complete crystal lattice. Now let's understand more the crystal lattice and unit cell by comparing with a wall. We know that the wall is made by bricks having regular arrangements. The complete wall represents the crystal lattice where each brick represents a crystal lattice. Hope you would have understood the concept of crystal lattice and unit cell. Now learners, are all unit cells same in crystal lattice? Yes. All unit cells in a crystal lattice are same. However, in different kinds of crystal lattice, there may be different types of unit cell. How do you identify the different kinds of unit cells? Well, for this, First of all, we should have knowledge of parameters of a unit cell. A unit cell is categorized by its edges and the angles between the edges. The edges of a unit cell is represented by A, B and C. The three edges may be mutually perpendicular or may not be. The angles between these sides which are named as alpha, beta and gamma, where alpha is the angle between edge B and edge C. Beta is the angle between edge A and edge C and finally gamma is the angle between the edge A and edge B. Based on the different parameters of crystal lattice there are seven types of systems of unit cells or crystal systems possible. As shown in the table right here now the unit cells can be classified into two categories. One is primitive or simple unit cells and another one is centered unit cell. Primitive unit cells are those in which the atoms are present at the corners only. Centered unit cells are those which have particles at the other positions also along with at corners. Centered unit cells are of three types. Face centered unit cells, N centered unit cells, body centered. Face centered unit cells are those in which the particles are present at the six different faces also along with particles at corners. N centered unit cells are those in which the particles are present at opposite faces also along with particles at corners. Body centered unit cells are those in which the particles are present at body also along with particles at corner. These all types of unit cells and system of unit cells form 14 kinds of bravia lattices. Let's see all the bravia lattice. Cubic crystal system has three kinds of bravia lattice and these are simple or primitive, face centered and body centered. Now tetragonal has two kinds of bravia lattice and these are simple or primitive and body centered. Now orthorhombic has four kinds of bravia lattice and these are simple or primitive, face centered, end centered and body centered. Now monoclinic has two kinds of bravia lattice and these are simple, primitive and end centered. 
triclinic, rhombohedral, and hexagonal. Each has one kind of bravia lattice only. So today's question for the assessment is what are the different kinds of unit cells Explain. In the next video, we will learn that how many atoms are there in a unit cell. Well, I hope you are learning at a good pace through our interactive videos and adding more and more knowledge to your pre-existing schema. If you have any query, do put your questions in our chat box where you will be scaffolded by our experts. And with that, there is a lot more to explore in our next video. Till then, keep watching first in class and keep learning.